Yeah, Larry, just, you know, the fact that you're facing a win and you're in scenario, I know yesterday was disappointing, but are you sort of fueled by, you know, what's in front of you and that you control your own fate? Um, of course, um, I think that the guys have worked extremely hard, you know, to, to get to this point, you know, and everything we want is still right in front of us. So we know what we have to do this week and how we have to prepare and just attack the week and then find a way to win on Sunday. So um, um, we're fired up. I mean, yesterday was very disappointing, but at the same time, you can't, you know, cry over spilled milk. What's done is done. And if we spend, you know, this week in preparation, thinking about what could have been last week, we're not going to put ourselves in a position to win. So we have to put all our focus this week on the Steelers and, you know, just move forward. You guys have been a good bounce back team. Generally, you know, Baker has, everyone has. Do you, do you feel like that? Hopefully you can call on whatever you've been using there to do that again. Um, I feel like I don't even like getting this stuff. I just like to, to stay focused. I feel like uh, whenever we do, you know, lose, we, like I said, we find a way to win. And I feel like that's just a testament to the guys, you know, their resiliency and just being able to just focus on what we got to do. And like I said, we can never, like what's done is done. We got to focus on what's going on right now. And, you know, that's the Steelers, so. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. Mary Kay Cabot is next. Did you see any highlights from last night? Yeah, um, like I said, once again, just resiliency. I mean, they're a tough football team, and that's just how they've been. They've always been that way. So um, it's got to find a way to win. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. We'll go to Nate Ulrich. Larry, uh, how much different are you guys since week six against the Steelers? What can you take from that game to help you guys for this one? Um, I just say that uh, – I feel like just the drive is different. I feel like we're in a dis uh, different position right now. You feel me? Um, you know, week six is week six. Um, we did some things well, but obviously we didn't get the win. So um, ne not well enough. But at the same time, I feel like the offense is just moving way better. Um, I feel like defense, we're clicking a lot better. So I feel like we're just a better team overall, you know, now than we were, you know, in week six. Um, so we just have to play like that. You know, it's all about um, execution on Sunday. And I feel like that's the biggest thing. So the, the team that executes the best and, you know, plays the best on Sunday is going to win. Thank you, Nate. We'll go to Daryl Ryder. Oh, I, I was just asking you about uh, preparing for Pittsburgh. Yeah. Maybe, not, maybe with some of the regular guys, they, they may or may not sit them because they've locked up the division. So for you as a player, what challenge does that present, uh, you know, trying to maybe prepare for, you know, two sets of offenses, if you will, from a, you know, personnel standpoint? Um, I mean, I, I feel like at the end of the day, we just got to prepare regardless. I mean, we know what we have to do. Like you said, we win, we're in. And I feel like that's just the mindset, whatever it takes to win, whatever we got to do to win. I feel like that's just the mentality we have to have. Like we have a, you know, unique and special opportunity to do something that hasn't been done in a very long time. And, uh, you know, once again, like uh, we can't talk about last week and what happened, you know, yesterday and last game, like, it is what it is, you know, and the only thing we can do right now is focus on the Steelers and what we have to do to find a way to win. And I feel like that's just the most important thing. Thank you, Daryl. Scott Patrick, you're up. Hey, Larry, you mentioned a couple of times that it's been so long since this team's been to the playoffs. So just like, where's your excitement level for that to be one game away? Um, I'm a guy that's really even killed. <laughs> so I usually kind of just stay chill, but at the same, cause I, you know, like when you win, it's not over yet. You know, I, I feel like a lot of greats have always had the mentality that, you know, just because you get the W doesn't mean that it's finished. It doesn't stop, you know, there. And for us, I, I feel like that's the change that we've had, you know, this season where we don't just win a game and then it's all like, you know, everybody's excited off of one win. Like it's winning consistently, consistently being good and finding yourself in this position, you know, for years to come as far as, you know, being able to go to the playoffs. So. Um, for me, it's just the biggest thing is just staying focused at the task at hand and, you know, focusing on what we got to do this week in preparation and, you know, from film study to, to the practice field to just preparing each and every way to find a way, find a way to win. That's it. Like, <laughs> that's the biggest and most important thing is, is just win. And I feel like once you take care of that, then, you know, we can start, you know, the hoorays and all that stuff will come about getting in, but we have to handle business on Sunday. So. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Tony Grossi has our next question. Play 
in its Mason Rudolph plays, uh, it seemed to be the I final didn't chapter. First part of your question, you kind oh, of. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, uh, in Pittsburgh, they're saying there's a pretty good chance that Ben will not pick play, and Mason Rudolph will. Considering uh, the history last year, it would seem to be the final chapter of that story from last year with Miles and he. What element would that bring to this game if Rudolph plays? Well, I think the only element right now, as far as, you know, the game is concerned, is we win, we win. <laughs> I feel like that's just, we're trying to keep it strictly, you know, about winning, you know, whatever, like, but once again, what's done is done. Like, I understand, you know, emotions and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like Miles' maturity level and just the team's maturity level as a whole is that we understand that this is bigger than one instance, bigger than one situation right now. It's about doing something that hasn't been done in a very long time. And it's about, you know, for each and for us playing for each and every one of us, our brothers and finding a way to win. And I feel like that's just the most important thing. Um, that's just how, that's my take on it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tony. We'll go to Tom Withers. Thanks, Rob. Hey, thanks, Larry. You, you're such an in the moment guy. What, um, how challenging has this season been from a, a mental aspect? And do you think guys are just kind of, it, would it be human nature to be kind of mentally worn down by everything you've had to deal with over these last few months? Um, yeah, I, I feel like that's, you know, fair to say. I mean, sometimes I feel a lot of times when you have the helmet on and, you know, people are on the outside looking and they kind of forget that we are human. You know, we deal with, you know, the same, you know, struggles as far as, you know, whether it's the virus and things that are going on in the world, like we have family, we have loved ones that are, you know, going through the same thing. So it, it is mentally draining, you know. Um, not being able to spend, you know, Christmas with your family and stuff like that. You know, it, it is different, but um, once again, it's a shared responsibility. You know, we all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. And I feel like a lot of guys have bought into that. Is it perfect? No, but um, that's not ever perfect. You know, we learn from certain examples, certain situations, and we just really have to, you know, once again, find a way to pull, come together, pull together, and do whatever it needs to take to get the job done. And I feel like guys are doing that, and guys will continue to do that. Coach said earlier to us that we absolutely have to learn from the lessons of last week, especially pertaining to the to the virus. What lessons are learned, Larry? Um, you know, the, this thing is serious, and um, it, it it can happen. You know, just like that. You know, you know, the day before a game, um, you know, we lose a, a good amount of players, and it's like, well, but at the end of the day, it's, it's just it's all around the league. You know, and um, it's just one of the things that now that it's happened, you understand how serious this thing can be, how quickly it can, you know, change the tide and something. So um, once again, we got to just be continue to be more proactive. You know, you have to continue, you know, check your teammates, check yourself, look yourself in the mirror, see what you're doing to be more, you know, preventative, more, you know, just mindful of the situation. You see somebody without something on or you see yourself slipping, you just make sure you know that now we felt it firsthand, how it can affect what we're trying to do. And uh, it's just something that can't be taken lightly, so. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. We have time for two more questions with Nate Ulrich and Steve Dorschick. Nate, you're up. Hey, Larry, we've talked to guys on the offense about missing the receiving core. Um, but I was wondering your take on missing B.J. Goodson, the signal caller of the defense, what kind of impact that has. And we know he's not going to be playing against the Steelers either. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a presence. You know, you know, BJ is our signal caller, kind of kind of gets that fire going, you know, calls the plays out for us. Um, so he was definitely missed yesterday. But, you know, once again, I got to talk to him today. But, uh, you know, it was just kind of one of the things where we always have that next man up mentality. You know, the guys just have to rally and just find a way to get it done. Um, it sucks, you know, when you, you're missing one of your key pieces. But uh, he wouldn't want us to, you know, fall off just because he's gone. And we can't do that, so. Is there anything you can share about how he's doing, like how he feels about the whole situation? He's feeling better. I mean, it, it sucks, you know. It just, it's just kind of one of the things where it's like nobody, it's just, it's just a rough situation. But I know where his heart's at, know where his mind's at, and I know that you know he wants to do everything in his power, you know, to help us win games. So um, it's just one of the things that just kind of happens, and uh, we just got to you know once again just roll with it, and uh, we love him, and we're just gonna keep going. Thank you, Nate. We have time for one more. The last one goes to Steve Dorshit. Hey, Larry, you mentioned uh, a bit ago that you have uh, a chance to do something that the Browns haven't done for a very long time. And my question's about that, your perspective. 
I looked it up and you were 13 years old the last time the uh, the Browns went into a game 16 with a chance to uh, to make the playoffs. But uh, I don't know, just for the perspective, what were you even doing uh, when you were 13 years old? Uh, what did you even know about the Cleveland Browns then? I'm going to tell you right now, I was not watching football. At um, 13, didn't know I'd be playing football. I think I was on a game, playing Xbox, eating chicken wings. I was a big boy. I, think I, was, I don't think I was doing anything as far as uh, football is concerned. But once again, it's just, like I said, it's an amazing experience, amazing opportunity to be able to do something special. And I know that we got the guys in this organization to do it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Like, we know our goals. Like, yesterday sucked. You know, left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. But once again, like we can't dwell on the past. Um, can't cry over still middle. We have to just be able to uh, stay focused on the task at hand and understand that, you know, if we win, we end. So 